<laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? Oh, wait, one second. It's like my fifth time going back in the house because I forgot something. A. 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 I have three keys on this. One is the new car. That's the new car key. I don't think that'll give it away. The car that I'm going to be driving in just a second. And the Z key. This is weird. I wonder what this is going to look like in like 10 years. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you all are doing something you actually enjoy in life. If you can't already tell by the title of this video, I bought a new car. Right now I'm actually in my dad's Jeep and uh, he drove the car to work so we're going to go pick it up, man. Listen. I'm definitely not one to ever have road rage, but this person in front of me has had their brake lights on down this hill the entire way going like 10 or 15 miles per hour. And if you're watching this, like, do you suck? So there's my dad's car and there's a car about, oh, can't see it. No, oh, no. My dad's car is also repping. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. It's actually hot as fuck. Uh, comment below what kind of car you guys think I bought. I'm gonna go somewhere where I can film like a little video and try to show you guys what the car looks like. Uh, I'll talk about it afterwards for those of you that just wanna know what kind of car I bought. Here's the clip, man. All right, guys, if you can't tell already, I bought a 1998 3.8 liter V6 Ford Mustang. It's either 3.8 or 3.6. I don't know Mustang super well. If it's a 3.6, I'm going to be really mad at myself. But yeah, a little bit about the car. I picked it up yesterday, bought it off of Craigslist. The guy who had owned this previously had owned it since 2002. So he's owned it for about 15 years. He thinks he's the second owner. So I'm, I was feeling pretty good about it. He had it listed for like an already low amount, but I went in like knowing that I'm not gonna pay that much. I feel like if you pay the first listing price, like you don't know what you're doing, man. For it, um, I offered him like something that was way low. He went up a little bit and we met in between, which I was super hyped on. The car was already low to begin with. So the mere fact that I got it for even cheaper was awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna walk around and show you guys the car a little bit and talk about it. Stock wheels, new tires as of last year. It's kind of cool. It has tinted windows. I think they're I think he said like 19% like it honestly looks pretty good first mod check Body is straight no major dents. There is there is a few little scuffs and scrapes here But I'm really surprised with how the good the body is actually pick this up Like I said for an absurdly low price, and I'm super stoked on it original wheels in good great condition Probably the biggest downfall of the body is this panel right here is a little sun faded, but it's honestly not even that bad. These fob that isn't programmed yet. Key. But a big thing about me is like the interior on a car and I was so surprised for the price I paid for this car how nice the interior was. There is a rag I used to check the oil when I bought it. But like, these are the original seats and they are in great condition. It has an aftermarket like radio right there, which is really sweet. Plays aux and everything. And super surprising for a car this old, like the AC and the heat works really well. Five speed manual transmission. 
more I look at this interior, there's like no major scuffs or scrapes, and I mean everything works, all the lights work and everything. Yeah, this is the uh, 10th or 11th car I've owned. I've owned some pretty like terrible cars in the past, like lots of stuff wrong. Nothing compared to this car. This car is in like immaculate condition compared to some of the other cars I bought. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it though. I bought it with the intent of flipping it, but like the more I drive it and the more I look at it and just the more right now I talk about it, I'm I, it's awesome. I want to keep it. I don't know. I could like try and learn how to drift on it. I'm not sure Mustangs are really the best car for that. So it would just be a really good daily shift, fun little car. Prints for these things is actually really cheap. Um, I was actually surprised on how quick this thing was. Like, um, for those of you that may or may not know, the first few videos I made on my channel had to do with my old car. It was a 2006 Ford Mustang, and like I noticed just so many similarities. But I was what really surprised me in this car was like it handled noticeably better than my other car so you know what you guys think I should do with it should I try and just flip it should I buy something else I'm gonna do is if I can flip it and make enough money off of the flip um, I was gonna look at buying a bike either a bike or like a 300 ZX I've owned a 300 ZX in the past and I kick myself for selling it I don't really know why I did I honestly love that car also some advice like I'm someone who knows very little bit about cars compared to like a lot of people but with my little bit of knowledge on cars I've been able to flip probably Bro, I safe at least at least 10 cars. I know that for sure and I've made upwards of like $10,000 just flipping cars I live in a really good area. I live in like a commuter area where people like there's lots of people It's growing uh, lots of people commute to work and whatnot So I was able to travel like 45 minutes away from where I live by this car And I'm sure like just right now without doing anything to the car I could list it in my area for more than the, the people did in their area plus I got this one for a steal um, I don't really like to talk money and anything with really anyone. I don't know why, not like I'm loaded or anything, but I don't know, I just feel like that's that's personal stuff and it should be left that way. But if you guys wanna know how much I got this car for, if you or if you wanna know how much I've made off of other cars or anything like, shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm definitely the most responsive on there. All gravel parking lot right now, and once those people over there leave, I mean, I can drive out safely and go slow. Yeah, I'm actually very impressed with the car and the condition it's in. Like I was saying earlier, there is a few little scuffs, small dents, I think that's honestly the worst one right there. But body, super straight, tires have plenty of tread, original wheels, which is really cool, windows are tinted, it has like the spoiler and everything. Personally, I like the taillights on these. Sound quality is actually surprisingly good in this car. Got your average cup holder, little compartment thing right here, I guess. Neutral automatic windows, which is actually surprising. I thought older Mustangs had like crank windows. Automatic mirrors and everything right here. You can just go left, adjust that, just like really any other car, nothing special. But yeah, that's going to kind of do it for this video. I bought a new car. Uh, I have some stuff planned for the 370. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with this car. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what I should do with the Mustang, let me know in the comment section down below or shoot me a message on my Instagram at the David Brunner. Uh, I think that's going to conclude today's video. Peace out. I hope you guys are doing well. I will see you next week.